Hao. Namaste. Hola. Xin chào. Salam. Good, Good evening, evening, everyone. everyone. Welcome to the 2019 International Week Global Talent Show. Thank you all for joining us tonight. Thank you. And also a huge thanks to our wonderful friends and family who's watching us online. Thank you guys for tuning in. <laughs> yes, so, so, uh, so are you guys excited for the performances we have in store today? Cause That's I am good. Really excited. <laughs> Yeah, because we are really excited. And I'll tell you, save up your energy because you are going to view some amazing performances today. All right. Yeah, but tonight's talent show is not only just about competition. Yes, that's true. It's also an opportunity for our students to give us an insight into the variety of cultures that make IUT Dallas so diverse. IUTD, right? Yeah, and you know which day is today? Friday? <laughs> yeah, and you know why Friday is most known at UTD? Uh, I don't know. Can you enlighten us? Yeah, Friday at UTD is UTD spirit. Oh, so let's begin our show by making a big UTD bush. So on the count of three, I'm going to say UTD and let's all make a big bush. What say? Okay, so three, two, one. UTD. <laughs> yes, that's there you the go. spirit I was looking for. And since now we are all energized up, let's first figure out who's with us tonight. Well, first of all, my name is Alejandra Klugger, and I am a sophomore studying international business, and I am from Peru. And? And I'm Amtul Nazneen. I'm a grad student, and I'm going to be your second co-host tonight, and I'm from India. So talking about India, Woo! where are my Indian people at? That's amazing. What about China? Do we have uh, China with us tonight? Come on, guys, louder. And what about Vietnam? There you go, there you go. Yes, yes, I can hear the voices now coming up. What about the race of Asia? And what about Latin America? Come on. Come yeah, on, guys. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> okay, what about Africa? Is Africa with us here tonight? Woo! Yes, that was the loudest. <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh, so now since we know everyone who's with us tonight here, and since tonight is about talent, Alejandra, I've always heard that you're such a great singer. So do you want to sing a little something for us and let's say prove your talent tonight? It's been years since I didn't even try to sing or anything, but since this is the last event for the International Week, let's give it a try. Yes, guys, please, let's clap. Let's clap in a rhythm. Let's do one and two. Come on, guys. Let's do a rhythmic clap. Let's do one and two. And then Alejandra would begin to sing. One, two. Come on, guys. One, two. Come on, follow me. One, two. Okay. Okay, Alex, please start. Okay. Everybody's cheering for you. Ooh, okay, all right. Good. <laughs> Alex, Alex. Come on, you're all waiting for you. I know, I know, I got it. All right, let's give you a one moment of, of, of silence. So now I'm going to be singing for you guys. <clears throat> it's been years, like I said. <laughs> um, I got this. <laughs> yeah, you do. <sighs> All right. <laughs> Can you sing Despacito for us? I would really want you to sing that. All right. I can try that. <laughs> Come on, guys. I don't hear you guys clapping. <laughs> We need encouragement, right? <laughs> All right, I will sing. Despacito. Come on, keep the clapping. Continue the clapping. Despacito. Deja que te diga cosas al oído para que te quiero si no estás conmigo. Oh my gosh, my voice. It is really bad. I cannot believe it. 
Yeah, I think it's best we leave the performances to our contestants. So without further ado, let's get started. But before that, what about introducing our judge panel yes. that is introducing us tonight? So first of all, let's give it a round of applause for Dr. Jim, Ka Dr. Jim Ka Kanichi, Director of the Student Counseling Center. Dr. Juan Gonzalez, Dean of the Graduate Education and Associates Provost. Dr. Elizabeth Rock, Associate Dean for Graduate Education. And Dr. Rodolfo Hernandez, Director of International Partnership Development, International Center. Thank you, judges, for taking your time to be here with us tonight. Everyone, please give a round of applause again for our lovely judges. Now let's unveil the UTD talent tonight. Up first, we have a new group with us. They, they will be doing a trio performance and of rising popular Mexican gender called Campirano. Please give a warm welcome to the Society of Hispanic Professional Engineers. Hola, ¿cómo están? Buenas noches. Good afternoon, everybody. We're gonna uh, present one of our latest uh, hit singles. Oh, it's not a hit single. <laughs> it's a cover. Pero con mucho cariño a toda la plebada de UT Dallas. Órale. You ready? Ahí les va. Y es tan fácil para ti decir a Dios nunca mencionar un perdón, qué sé yo. De rutina en un juego se convirtió y el orgullo es el ganador. Te pierdo amor hoy otra vez. Se terminó de la manera más sencilla se acabó. Pues di de besos y caricias un millón y te bastó, se terminó. Para perder hay mil razones, mil motivos, sabes bien. Cuánto te quise y yo que tanto me esforcé. Tal vez pagué, no lo hice bien, no lo hice bien. Con mucho cariño para toda la plebada de UTD. Tantas formas de arreglar la situación, nunca mencionar un perdón, no hubo ganas, qué sé yo. Quedan recuerdos grabados para la Dios, locos días de tu y yo y la pasión de nuestro amor. Se terminó, de la manera más sencilla se acabó, pues y de besos y caricias un millón y te bastó, se terminó para perder. Hay mil razones, mil motivos, sabes bien. Cuánto te quise y yo que tanto me esforcé. Tal vez pagué, no lo hice bien, no lo hice bien. Muchas 
Muchas gracias, muchas gracias. No, ya no. Nos van a correr. Muchas gracias. Thank you, thank you. Have a great night. Wasn't that awesome, guys? Did you guys like it? Please give a huge round of applause for the SHPE. Thank you. So now moving on to our next performer. Our next performer is a singer and a dancer who's sharing his talent with us once again. Let's welcome to this year's Global Talent Show, Aladdin Al Hayek. track. Play. وصفوا القلب من لوم وعتابا ويا رايح على القدس قبل لي عتابا وخذ دمعي معك اغلى جوا فلسطين داج على الراس بالعين وبقلوب الناس عشق المجروح جوا الروح ما غلاه وانا مهما دخت ولفيت زي حضنك والله ما لقيت كل واحد شافك سما وقال ما شاء الله وعشق المجروح جوا الروح ما غلاه وانا مهما دخت ولفيت زي حضنك والله ما لقيت اي باي حبك يا بلاد في العين واسمك محفور على جبين حبك ايمان وفي كل مكان فخور فيكي حي الوطن حيو اسم الوطن علو ارضك ارجال تحس جبال وفديكي وين ما نروح معاك الروح ونشهد علينا الله في العين وعشق المجروح جوا الروح ما الله وانا مهما رحت ولفيت زي حضنك والله ما لقيت
بجمالك قالوا لا شعار وصفق وبغنوك كثار صوت لي رغول وزري فطول ودلعونا غني يا بلادي حرة ميجان عتابة وجفرة بالكوفية والتحية غنونا قالوا غدار يا أجمل دار ولا زي ببلاد انضاء حياهم الله الفلسطيني يا فلسطيني نزلوا على الساحه بيديهم بويديهم لواحه على على دلعان على دلعان فلسطين بلاد ام الحنونه فلسطين تاج عراس ثانك يو wasn't that just incredible i really enjoyed this performance come on guys clap hard that's the spirit do you want to share this amazing show with your friends and family who might be at home because we are live on youtube so what you can do is you can go to youtube and you can just type ut space dallas space media and then you'll get our online streaming link and you can share it with with anyone that you want to share this amazing show with but up next we have an individual who will be showing you us his unique skills. He is a stand-up comic, and I think you're gonna like it. So guys, make some noise for Jashandeep Kaleka. Hello, everyone. Hello everyone, uh, my name is Jashin and I came to this beautiful country on Self Promises slash Resolutions Day that is 1st January 2019 with exactly 56 kgs of luggage and 70 kgs of dreams and aspirations that I could feel pile up on my shoulders during my, my enlightenment phase. Well, some people call it a 17 hour flight. <laughs> and Chances are, if you are an international student, these dreams and aspirations, they revolve around money. At least for me, they did. But at 22, the only thing I was good at was watching videos of other people play video games. So not a whole lot of scope there. But I, I, I knew that I need to look thoroughly. Maybe I was missing something. It turns out I was skipping the whole hush-hush by skipping those get rich quick recipe ads. So I decided I need to dive in because why not America is a land of millionaires and billionaires. And I was sure that these money monks, they, they knew the secret how to get rich. And I just wanted that. So after some inspiration and videos here and there, I ended up buying the Amazon uh, subscription, bought some books, read none. I ended up buying the Audible subscription, bought some audiobooks, but I listened to none. I ended up downloading a lot of TEDx videos, but I watched none because I wanted a perfect start for my journey to become a millionaire. So after some determination, I found this masterpiece, a, a 39 minute, 45 second video that just for assurance, after its title had asterisk guaranteed asterisk in all caps. So, so I knew this, this, this was it. The, I knew that the millionaire uh, in the video, with his millionaire personality, his, uh, his millionaire background with million view video, would make me a millionaire uh, one day, or at least like get me a step closer. So uh, the first thing he went on to say is that to become a millionaire, you need a bank account. Uh oh. So I pause the video, I go to the bank, get an account, come back, and hit resume. Then he goes on to say that you need to grab all the cash you have, and this would be the budget for your entire year. And I, I, I pause the video, grab the cash, 
and I only had like 1200 bucks for a whole year to plan. Then he goes on to say to like divide the bank into 15 more accounts. So I grabbed a bunch of stickies and I put it in on my wall to set a virtual account with a lot less money though. And I had modern art right there. The, uh, the bank accounts went from 15 to 50. But I knew that though every account had only $2 in that, I knew that not only will the color change over time, but so will the amount. So fast forward it to a month, I had it all figured out. I, I was so confident that I was daydreaming about my millionaire days. And I tell you what, the days were really good. But what, what was even better was the setting of the present moment. It was so good that it was drizzling, cloudy outside, I was sitting on the corner seat and I could uh, literally imagine my astral projection shooting a scene from my future biography titled Didn't Skip the Ad and Became a Millionaire. The shot went from the ground to towards the my umbrella on the left to the bag in my lap and towards my thoughtful pose. And then to the blurry background where I could see the stop that I just missed. I stand up, I yelled at the driver, stop the bus. He, jam he jams the brakes and I, with all the inertia, I'm sent forward. With my astral crew packed up, I get off the bus. So 20 minutes in waiting for the 883, I just went from feeling the drizzle to actually getting drenched in the rain. This is the precise moment that, that I realized that I had forgotten my umbrella in the, in the bus. My umbrella was gone. In a normal scenario, this, this wouldn't be like a, a major thing. But on my journey to become a millionaire by 23rd September 2023, this wasn't supposed to happen. This wasn't the plan. The plan was simple. Nothing gets lost and nothing is bought. So the freak, I panicked and the freak out was real. I knew I had to buy an umbrella because in this da unpredictable Dallas weather, it, it's a necessity. And moreover, it's, it, whenever I walk down a dark alley, it's a weapon of self-defense, an affordable weapon of self-defense. So I knew I had to buy a new umbrella. So the 883 arrives, I, I board the bus, and this time holding tight to my shattering dreams and my backpack, and the bus stops here, I get down in front of the bookstore and this time with grabbing all my courage, I go and I had to buy the umbrella. But what happens is, I look at the umbrellas, there were two of them, I bought the expensive one, go on to buy some hoodies, registers, backpack and I ended up spending $100 on the day that I wasn't supposed to spend as per the plan. So my plan had, at this point my plan was shattered. But you know what, this really felt good. And this is when I realized that planning is good, but you can't plan your entire life. Because it is predicted to be quite unpredictable. So one should embrace these unpredictable moments. And because they can also bring you real joy. Thank you so much. That's a very interesting skill to have, right? So, let's move ahead. Our next team plans us to show something incredibly amazing. It will be a traditional Middle Eastern dance, mainly from Iran and Turkey. That's awesome. But don't you want to hear the name of our performers? I'm too. I think they already know who we're talking about. Oh, that's cool. But let's give it a formal introduction. Well, give it up to the Vanu Dance Group.
Cüceleri rüyamdasam görürem ki yanımdasam Hamsi dizdi hamsi yalan Ölürem senin için yanıram senin için Bir defa mene bak yüreğim yandı ah Bu ne belaydı ne sevdaydı düştüm ay Allah Bak bak bir mene bak ölürem senin için Yanıram senin için Yandı bu dil yandı dolak Ölürem senin için Yanıram senin için Her yeni esti gülüm gözlerinde kalıp gözüm Bir mene bak canım gözüm Ölürem senin için, yanıram senin için Bir defa mene bak, yüreğim yandı ah Bu ne belaydı ne sevdaydı düştüm ay Allah Bak bak bir mene bak, ölürem senin için Yanıram senin için Yandı bu dil yandı dolak Ölürem senin için Yanıram senin için Wasn't that awesome, Alejandra? I really enjoyed it. I wish I could dance like them. Yeah, that was so energetic and so vibrant. UTD for sure has got a lot of talent. Let's give Banu Dance Group another round of claps, guys. They deserve it. That's great. Now, I'm too. let's travel to another country. Yes. Coming up next to the stage is another amazing group that I, we are so excited to see, right? Sure. Showing up dancing styles that encompass different types of dances from various African countries. Let's welcome the African Student Union. Jewish on the beat. Et vous la grattez bien. Oui. Ok. Média 7. <rire> le coup tour là au Sandy Obiang, le PDG de Kaya Immobilier. Romeo Kwaku, président Kobi. <rire> Apache Côte d'Ivoire. Mon vieux Bello Ginero, le Mambar, très très dangereux. Aïe, mon stick. Monsieur le juif, la correction musicale. Recevez encore sa fin, sa fare le bien. Gatti, 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 gatti
This is the first time the African Student Union is participating in the Global Talent Show. That's just awesome. They did a really wonderful job. You guys need to give them another round of applause. I cannot hear it. Come on. 
yes, that's better. So, how are you guys liking the performances so far? I don't hear, I don't hear it. <laughs> that's good to hear. And now I'm let's take a short break of 15 minutes. Please make sure that you're back in 15 minutes. Oh, you guys want to continue? <laughs> yeah. That's good. That's really good. <laughs> but let's make sure that we are back in 15 minutes to enjoy more of our show, obviously. And in the meantime, we also invite you to post and share any pictures and images that you have taken and you're enjoying the show to our social media on our FB page and our Instagram. Our you hashtags are UTDICP and UTDIWIC. So make sure you put those hashtags on and we will be right back. See you after the break, guys. Welcome back from the break, y'all. <laughs> well, it's time to travel to another country. Do you guys want to guess which country we're going to present to you tonight? <laughs> we cannot hear you. Let me hear some guesses. I hear something from here. You guys are pretty smart. <laughs> and you guys are good guessers too. Let's welcome from Vietnam that... And they're gonna be, tre they're gonna be treated to a dance performance to showcase many traditional beauties of Vietnam with a little mix of, mo of modern elements. Please give a round of applause for Wincef, guys. Let's give it a applause for Wincef. Long ago, there was once a renowned fortune teller that could read any fortune that may come. This particular Vietnamese woman stumbled across this great fortune teller. The fortune teller greets her and began to read her fortune. However, she soon learned about the unpleasant news about a marriage that awaits her. Thus, she ran off home. Later that day, she met with her father only to see that he brought her a potential suitor. After hearing something so absurd, she ran off without her umbrella.
That's exactly my reaction. I amazingly loved it. Let's give them another round of applause, guys. So the night is getting better and better, right? Yeah. <laughs> so now, uh, let's moving on to our next performance. We have a classical instrumental music based on the sitar and tabla. So let's welcome our next performer. Please welcome to. The Raga Duo. Come on, guys, show us your energy.
So Alejandra, how did you like that? The I, sitar and the tabla. I really like it. I love how those instruments pair really good together. Absolutely. Uh, so let's just turn to our audience. How many of you are grad students? Raise your hands. Woo! Okay. So uh, the ones who are graduating this semester or this year, good luck for your graduation. But for the ones who would be with us next year, I'm sure that you must have some talent that you would want to display and share it with the rest of us. So same time next year, we hope to see you here and not there. Oh yeah. We want you to see you here in the stage. Yes, because UTD, I'm sure, has a lot of talent. And some of the talent is in the audience and not on the performance stage. So next year, are you sure you would be with us to, uh, this time next year? Can I hear it again? That's good. I take your word for it now. All right, I'm told. Up next, we are going to present a group that will be showcasing a mix of music, dance, and drama highlights of the culture and heritage of... Do you know the country? But I don't hear the name. Okay, so everyone has guessed it by now. So let's give a warm welcome to the, the Indian, Indian Student, Student Association. Association. Let me tell you about the glorious festival Diwali. In the glorious days of ancient India, the kingdom Ayodhya was ruled by mighty King Dashrath. Amongst his sons, Lakshman, Bharat, Chaturbhra and Ram, Ram was destined to defeat evil. He comes in a competition with many powerful kings, including Ravan, the king of Lanka, in archery competition and wins it, which earns him the right to marry the beautiful Sita, daughter of mighty Janak Maharaj. <laughs> wise and powerful, Rama was the one to ascend the throne, but instead was forced to exile for 14 years by King Dashrata. Unruffled Rama accepts his exile, his wife Sita and his loyal brother Lakshmana accompany him. During the exile, the princely brothers move across the length of India from one place to another. They were living in peace and serenity until one day. The powerful king and the terrorizing demon Ravan hears of Sita's beauty and with a disguise of a saint, distracts Rama and Lakshmana with a golden deer and kidnaps her. with rocks that float when inscribed with Rama's name. Sir, Jho Uthega, Dhar Zikatega, Kahan Vajipega, Kahan Pepa Jho 
the magnificent victory of lord rama he returns to ayodhya completing the exile which was celebrated by illuminating the kingdom with diyas this victory continues to be celebrated as diwali that symbolizes the spiritual victory of light over darkness good over evil and knowledge over ignorance So, how did you guys like that? That's what we thought. Wasn't that so full of energy? Yes, let's give them another round of applause. Thank you. So now moving on to our next performer. She will be presenting an Indian classical dance called Kathak. Ladies and gentlemen, Please welcome Ria. Come on guys, clap for Ria. Love is the most beautiful thing to have, hardest thing to earn, and most painful thing to lose. She found love, was happy beyond measures, but was completely shattered when all of that love vanished. But life does not end here. Rather than trying to fix her broken heart, she started over to create something better. She found a new meaning and comfort in her work. The innocent smile and contagious happiness of her children healed her broken soul and lonely heart. And she did not realize that her heart was ready to embrace a new beginning. We 
जो मिला तो मुझे ऐसा लगता था जैसे मेरी सारी दुनिया में गीतों की रुत और रंगों की बरखा है खुशबू की आंधी है महकी हुई सी अब सारी फिजाएं है महकी हुई सी अब सारी हवाएं है कोई हुई सी अब सारी दिशाएं है बदली हुई सी अब सारी अदाएं है जागी उमंगे है तलक रहा है दिल सांसों में तू पाए होठों पे नगमे है आंखों में सपने है सपनों में बीते हुए सारे बोलमे है जब कोई आया था नजरों पे छाया था दिल में समाया था कैसे मैं बताओ तुम्हें कैसा उसे पाया था प्यार से चेहरे पे बिखरी जो जुल्फे तो ऐसा लगता था जैसे गोबर के पीछे एक ओस में धुला हुआ फूल खिला है जैसे बादल में एक चांद छुपा है और चांद रहा है जैसे रात के पर्दे में एक सवेरा है रोशन रोशन आंखों में सपनों का सागर जिसने प्रेम सितारों की चादर जैसे झलक रही है लहरों लहरों बात करे तो जैसे मोती पर से जैसे कहीं चांदी की पायल गूंजे जैसे कहीं शीशे के जाम गिरे और छन से टूटे जैसे कोई चुप के सितार बजाए जैसे कोई चांद में रात में गाए जैसे कोई हॉल से पास बुलाए कैसी मीठी बात थी वो कैसी मुलाकात थी वो जब मैंने जाना था नजरों से कैसे बिगड़ते हैं दिल और आर सुबानी है कैसे मन दिल और कैसे उतरता है चांद जमीन पर कैसे कभी लगता है सर दिल अगर तो बस में यही किसने बताया मुझे और समझा मुझे हम जो मिले हैं हमें ऐसे ही मिलना था गुल जो खिले हैं उन्हें ऐसे ही खिलना था जन्मों के बंधन जन्मों के रिश्ते हैं जब भी हम जन्मे तो हम जो ही मिलते हैं कानों में मेरे जैसे शहद से खुलने लगे कामों के दर जैसे आंखों में खुलने लगे काबू की दुनिया भी कितनी हसी और कैसी रंगी थी काबू की दुनिया जो कहने को थी पर कहीं भी नहीं थी आप जो टूटे मेरे आंख जो खुली मेरी होश जो आया मुझे मैंने देखा मैंने जाना वो जो कभी आया था नजरों पर छाया था दिल में समाया था जा भी चुका है और दिल मेरा है अब तन तन ना तो कोई अरमा है ना कोई तमन्ना है ना कोई सपना है जो मेरे दिन जो मेरी रातें हैं उनमें सिर्फ आंसू हैं उनमें सिर्फ दर्द की रंज की बातें हैं और फरियादें हैं मेरा अब कोई नहीं मैं हूँ और खोए हुए प्यार की यादें हैं मैं हूँ और खोए हुए प्यार की यादें हैं मैं हूँ और खोए हुए प्यार की यादें हैं Thank you so much, Ria, for your presentation. That was absolutely wonderful to watch tonight. Anyways, now we are reaching to, the, to our favorite part of the event. Who is ready to hear the winners? But before we get started, we would like to thank all of our contestants tonight because they did a really amazing job performing over here with us. Give it a round of applause, please. Please give a stronger round of applause, guys. They were really, really, really good. They really deserve it. They put a lot of effort and it has been shown here tonight. And we would also like to take this time to thank the IWIC volunteers. Can the IWIC volunteers please stand up? Let me see those IWIC volunteers. Thank you so much, guys. Please, everyone, give a round of applause for our wonderful volunteers who helped us through this entire week. And of course, we cannot forget to thank you. That is our lovely audience. Thank you guys so much for watching. We will also like to thank all our UTD departments that got involved with us this year. We really appreciate your support and we hope we can see you also next year too. We enjoy collaborating especially with the Residential's Life to help promote iWeek across campus. As part of this partnership, various teams within Residential Life created a marketing display for one of the iWeek events featured this year. 
Each team was judged by UTDS special guest judges. Also, please stand up if you participate in helping to create a marketing display in one of our residential live committees. Please stand up, guys, if you had got yourself involved in the marketing displays. Woo! Okay, they might not be present here with us, but please give them a round of applause. They really worked hard. So the judges were given the task of deciding the winners based on the following criteria. First, the correct details for the iWeek events displayed. Second, diverse cultures represented. Third, creativity used in their display. And number four, visual appeal. So do you guys want to know this year's winner? And this year's winner is Residence Hall West. Congratulations, Residence Hall West. Now Most moving on to the table tennis and badminton tournaments. Each year, we collaborate with Rec Sport to host table tennis and badminton tournaments during the International Week. As you can see on the screen, there is a list of winners from these tournaments. Please stand up if you are one of the winners. We want to see you. Congratulations, winners. Let's give all our winners a round of applause. Thanks, guys. Now moving on to the event with which our International Week has began, Passport to the World. For those who are not familiar with Passport to the World, it is the kickoff event of iWeek. Students and student organizations represent their countries through clothing, cuisine, informative displays, and music. If the winner of our awards that we announce are in the audience, please send one person up to the stage to claim your prize. Also, Passport to the World was even bigger and better this year. Did you know that we had over 1,000 students, faculty, staffs, and community members attending to this event? Well, now you know. <laughs> also, this year, 16 countries were represented in our Passport to the World signature event. And there were also some new countries who did not participate last year and have made great, excellent showings this year. Also, stand up if you volunteer or help create a Passport to the World booth this year. Let's see the volunteers. Give these students a round of applause. And now we are going to the category of winners. The judges were given the challenging task of deciding the winners for each of the following categories. Most informative, best national dress, best cuisine, best newcomer, most creative, best hospitality, and best in show? Well, the first category that we have right now is... the most informative. Let's move to the favorite category first. Yes, the most informative category. Passport to the World is an opportunity for everyone to teach about cultures from around the world. Even as staff members, we learn so much. Understanding and knowledge can bridge gaps between people, and this is one reason why this event, and specifically this category, is so important. We had a lot of wonderfully informative displays this year, but one stood out among us in competitors. The, the following countries received votes for these categories. Iran. <laughs> the 
Nepal, Sri Lanka, and Sudan, and Taiwan. But for this year, the most informative group was... Any guesses, guys? Our audience is always right. <laughs> but I'm um, too, let's formally say it, right? Yes. So, the most informative group was... India! So, can we have... Can we have a one representative for India from to the claim this award? Congratulations. Congratulations. Every year, Passport to the World is like a global fashion show. I love seeing all the colorful, festive clothing from students' home countries. The following countries receive votes for this category. Ethiopia, Pakistan, Sudan, India, Bangladesh, Nepal, and U.S. However, one country's beautiful outfits really stood out. The judges agree they look fabulous. The winners for the national, best national dress are we have two winners, so you guys can take two guesses. Yeah, there was a tie. There was so a tie. So let's hear it. I don't hear it. Okay. I don't hear the winners group shouting out. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to announce the winners. Sri Lanka and Japan. Please, a representative for Sri Lanka and Japan, please come here to pick up your prize. Which country are you representing? Sri Lanka. Congratulations. Congratulations to Sri Lanka. Is Japan with us tonight? Is Japan with us tonight? Okay. All right. That's fine. I guess we need to save it for later. Exactly. Exactly. Oh my God, this is one of my favorite is the category of best cuisine. It is definitely my favorite category. <laughs> this year, guests had the chance to try an array of food. The following countries receive votes for this category. China, India, Sri Lanka, Sudan, Mexico, Pakistan, and Israel. 
However, one country served food that turned out to be everyone's favorite. The winner of best cuisine is... Is... Believe it or not, the winner of the best cuisine is... Bangladesh! Please, if someone that was in Bangladesh could come here to receive the prize. The next one is the next, the next one is the best newcomer, Creative. There you go. Congratulations. Congratulations, my dear. So now moving on to the category of most creative. Students really worked hard to make their booth interesting, fun, and informative. They're always looking for new ways to keep their boots exciting and fresh. The following countries received votes for this category. Nepal, Iran, Bangladesh, Sudan, China, India, Taiwan, and Japan. As for the winners, this groove booth stood out with a great display that was definitely eye-catching. And the winner for the most creative was... I guess I'm too, our audience cannot guess it this time. Yeah. Okay. Let's, let's give them a bit more chance to guess. So, who do you think won the most creative? Okay, I think we should let them know, Alex. All right. So, the winner for the most creative was... Sri, Sri Lanka. Lanka! Thank you so much. Congratulations. Sri Lanka is taking all the prizes tonight. Yeah. But we have still a lot to announce. Next category is best hospitality. All of our students were very gracious hosts during Passport to the World. And, as you probably saw it, it was a really hard work to take care of many guests from so many countries. The following countries received votes for this category. Taiwan. China. South Korea. India. Sudan, Nepal, Iran, and Israel. And as for the winner, this group greeted each guest. Patrons left their booth feeling like they were part of the family. So the winner for best hospitality is... I hear a lot of answers, but there's one winner. We have only one winner here. I'm too... I think no one can guess this one again. <laughs> so the winner for the best hospitality is... Bangladesh! There she is. Congratulations. Congratulations. We have two more categories left in the Passport to the World Awards. 
Now moving on to the category of best newcomer. It is a lot of hard work creating a passport to the world booth and for newcomers the task can be intimidating. However, this year we have many brave students who participated for the first time. And they did an amazing job providing learning opportunities and great hospitality to these guests that attended our event of the Passport to the World. I want to see if our audience can guess one more time. Do you know which one was the winner? Who do you think the Best Newcomer Award should go to? Let's hear it. Let's, let's make a few more guesses. I'm Tool. I okay. think this audience is getting really close. The winner yes. for best hospitality, or should I say best newcomer hospitality? Yes. Because I think they were really hospitality too. Yes. The winner is Kuzla, the Center of US Latin American Studies, representing the country of Mexico. Let's see our representative, so. Please give them a round of applause, guys, because being a newcomer is very intimidating and it requires a lot of effort. And they did a really wonderful job. I am very glad that Kuzlai participated this year. Yes, and we hope that we get to see many more countries and culture next year. We are inviting you guys to bring your country. Who knows, maybe next year you can be the best newcomer. Okay, okay. Okay, now moving on to the most exciting award for the passport in the world, that is the best in show. Okay, okay, I hear it, I hear it. But let me just tell you what the award is about. Okay, so one thing specific about this award is that while all the winners of the previous categories were decided solely by our judges, this award is decided by a 50% judge's choice and a 50% people's choice. So which country do you think won best in show? Okay, I give up. I'm um, too. Yes. <laughs> I think they're taking our jobs to announcing. <laughs> yes, you guys are absolutely right. The winner for the best in show is... It's India! Thank you so much, India, for winning this year's Best in Show. So that was it for the Passport to the World Awards. And again, as we say, we hope to see many more countries representing diverse cultures next year. So that we can make, you know, the competition a little more tougher. And so our final category of awards is for, of course, our tonight's talent show. And as you know, it was a really tough decision to make. This right? year. So who do you think should, should be claiming today's award for the first, second and third prizes? Ooh. 
Okay, so. I'm told. Yes. Did you notice that this year we have so many new contestants? Yes. That was the most exciting part of our talent show. And I am so glad I see so many countries participating this year, showing their diversity to our campus, UTD. Yes, let's now do a big whoosh again before we release our winners. So, UTD. UTD. OK. So now, uh, let me just uh, let you know that the judges were uh, decide, uh, the pri winners were decided on the following criteria. Creativity, entertainment, appropriateness of length, artistic skill, and representation of culture. So let's go to the awards. The third place that we have for the Global Talent Show of 2019 of the International Week is... The African, African Student, Student Union. Union. Please come on to the stage. Please, African Student Union. Congratulations. Being here the first year, and they won the third place. I really like the vibe that African Student Union bring to UTD this year. Thank you so much for participating with us. Congratulations once again. So now moving on to our second place. So any guesses? Ooh. And? Okay, so should we announce it? Or should we wait for more time? Do you guys want to know now? Yes, and we are also excited to share it with you. So, Our second place contestant is... Vincent! Vincef, please come onto the stage. We want Vincef in the stage. Congratulations. You guys were amazing. So cute. Good, keep it going. Yep, that was our second place. Congratulations, guys. You Thank guys you are so much. So are you guys ready to know who is the first winner? Okay, we want to know the guesses. Who do you think? I want to hear your guesses. Winner? Okay, I hear something. Okay, Alex, let's announce it the most important award of tonight's are you, event. Are you guys excited and ready? That's what I wanted to hear. So, our first place winner is... ISA! Indian Student Association!
How's the Josh guys? How's the Josh? Woo! So, so let me give you the award. India! India! Okay, okay. Thank you guys. Give a round of applause for ISA. Thank you. Do you want to do it? On behalf of the entire Intercultural Programs team, we would like to thank each and every part participant present here to make this a terrific night. Thank you so much for participating. We, the International Peer Advocates, want to appreciate you guys for attending our event this year. Thanks for bringing UTD the spirit tonight with us. And I hope I will see you next year. Have a wonderful night. Adios. Thank you once again. <laughs>